Cemeteries are places to remember and pay respect to loved ones. But imagine passing away and no one knowing who you were or where you came from. In this week's Northern Michigan in Focus, Corey Atkins explains what a group did to pay respect to the unknown in a cemetery just north of Paradise. And I really wish we could find out who these gentlemen were. At first look, the graveyard at the Whitefish Township Cemetery seems simple. Marked graves of families, and those families always knowing where their loved ones and descendants are buried. But there are some graves here that have never been claimed. Back in the 1800s, sailors sometimes didn't have ID on them. So if there was a shipwreck, their families never knew where they died. And their bodies would wash up on the shore, and the locals would come and, and and give them a Christian burial. But as to who they are, we have no clue. I think it's sad that uh, you know, these guys excuse me, died so many years ago and their relatives were maybe downstate over Wisconsin or you know, God knows where they, their home was and their relatives they have no idea where their kin are. So, <clears throat> you have to excuse me, I'm kind of emotional about this, but uh, nobody should be buried in an unmarked grave and forgotten about. I don't care who you are. But well over a century later, people do care. Chief Dustin McClellan of the Sault Ste. Marie Coast Guard Station asked Mike a question. Asked if, you, if there was anything that the Coast Guard could do to help a local township or anything like that that might even be remotely related to the lake. He got together seven or eight volunteers and they came up here with all their own equipment, weed whackers and, and chainsaws and stuff like that. I mean, you would not believe the, the work that they did in four hours. What they uncovered floored them. Multiple graves simply marked unknown. Dale Graham, he came down and counted them, and he said there were, he thought there were 20. So Chief McClellan decided to do something. He looked at the one, you know, it was just a, a rectangular little flat plate on the ground. They said, well, this, this that will not do. Since they were seamen, you should have a proper marker. A group he's involved with called the Chief Petty Officers Association Sioux Chapter made these crosses and installed them on October 26th. And what's kind of a mystery is the unknown graves are everywhere in the cemetery. There's really no rhyme or reason as to why they were placed where they're at. But at least now, after all these years, the people buried underneath these unknown markers have the respect they deserve, thanks to this group who still cares. Chief McClellan came up here and saw, I think he, him and a couple of the other guys were really moved. They got a bond of sailors. They should have some sort of honorable marking. As far as finding out who the individuals are, I guess we'll never know. For Northern Michigan in Focus, I'm Corey Adkins.